Welcome back to the finishing line and episode 8 of our Chetland Festival anti-post video. Right, before we get stuck into this, we got our posters done for the Chetland preview, so I'll show you. Kind of excited. Kev, I don't know if I'm getting this right, so let's put it over Tom's face. Go for it, yeah. So, it's on February the 28th in Revolution Bar. We have, am I in the mic? Jay Mangan, Emma Kennedy, Kevin Sexton, Matt Keane from WLR will be the MC. And Mark Phillips, the racing analyst from WLR, along with the three amigos. So it actually turned out really nice. It's nice, yeah. yeah. That's all Kevin's it's handiwork as well, by the way. Yeah, Shout out to Kev good. again. What Kevin, are we going to do when he leaves? Kev's the brains behind this. What are we going to do with well, genuine? What are we going to do when he leaves? Kev's leaving us, by the way. Yeah. Uh, Kev's going off to sunnier climbs. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna panic, I think. <laughs> all of it. No, you're yeah. the king of panicking. Yeah, you're just, you're you are just, you're just thinking about everything. I'm, I'm not, panicking about I'm the not pessimistic at all. And the biggest pessimistic I've oh, ever came across in my life. Panicking. 17 million messages every day. Oh, that's oh, what we're going to do. Oh, that's all oh, no, 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 no. I am panicking. I am panicking, yes. Right. I panic over all that stuff. Yeah. Panic, be fine. Getting, panic against a few winners in Chetland. Ooh. Who wants to go first? I will. Ooh. No, I'm going. Confident. Come on, Mr. One. Go for it, Dave. Uh, the horse Take is your going, time. Give me a chance. The horse I'm is called. Prepared. De um, I am prepared. Like I was going through the other races. The horse is called Deal Care, and he's going to go for the Albert Bartlett. No, just listen. Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Right. He is a second season novice. Okay. What do you need to win an Albert Bartlett? A tough horse. Uh, a lot of runs and a winner. Do you like how Monkfish won the other day? No. Not in context of that race. He does. I just like the way he won because I yeah. him. Yeah, he won by, <laughs> by low. It's 20, the, 20 lengths he won by. This horse um, had his first hurdle run last January. He came back this season. He bet Monkfish by eight lengths in November. Monkfish has now obviously gone on to, to win that race the other day. The horse that was third that day was Escaria 10. Uh, Gordon Elliott's horse he's won twice since Ooh. okay uh, the fourth in that race was 72 lengths back um, and he's won a, a race since so that's my pick for the Albert what's his name again Deal Care two seconds Price oh thing. Deal Care Jesus I thought he was called it Deal something the, this horse hasn't been seen in a while. That's his yeah. problem. No, I he's... saw that horse won his point to point at, uh, at uh, Curramore in right. Worsford. And I happened to be there the day he won. He absolutely bolted up. He's a massive big chaser. A um, friend of mine bought the second horse out of that race. Okay. And he was, he sadly, they found him dead in the field over the summer. Right. Oh, Jesus. But he was a 120 plus horse and this lad smashed him that day. Yeah. He's a lovely, lovely horse in all meets. Um, and he has a turn of foot as well. Um, if he's still alive and kicking, and he's not injured or dead, he's about sixteen to one. Because I only looked at him last night. Yeah, I would not knock him though. Jesus, you're not very excited. There. Well played, Tom. I like that horse. I've just followed him all the way through since his point to point. So yeah, um, he hasn't been seen since November. But Monkfish has formed the little. Bit. Well, maybe you yeah. didn't like the way he won the other day, but he can only he can only win how he won. Like Sixteen, he, yeah. So. Do you want my one? Because yeah. I'm in the same race and I've got monkfish Ooh. form tied in. I was going to put this up a couple of weeks ago when we didn't record a video. And then I got nervy on it last week. Because Shock, you're getting pessimist about something. I know. Imagine. <laughs> um, I got nervy on him last week because the the trainer said he was going for the Ballymore. But there was a there was a uh, I know there right. was a horse out, there was a there was a an interview with the trainer yesterday about his other horse, City Island, going for the the stay as hurdle. Sorry about that, Dave. Ah, oh, that happens. Dave, yeah, look, that, it is unfortunate. Um, but the, his other horse at Cheltenham is Martin Brass's other horse, and Martin Brass <laughs> is a very, very, very good trainer. Do, don't be put off by the amount of horses he has or winners he has. He's a serious trainer. Um, Longhouse Poet. I fancied him. I found, I, I've liked him since he won his bumper. He won a pun bumper in the Punchestown Festival when he beat Monkfish. Um, he won a maiden hurdle um, on his second run this year, where the second and third have come out and won since. Um, he got beaten on his first start behind that Elixir Danny, is it? Yeah. He was second behind Envoy Allen. Um, 
after he won his maiden hurdle, then he went on to run against Envoy Allen in the Lords of Nace grade one. And if you watch that race, he just gets outpaced and he stays on and stays on and stays on all the way to the line. Um, Elixir Dane was second that day, so that upheld that form. I really like him for this race. I think he's a he's a tough, hardy horse, and I definitely think he needs fervor. I was wondering why they mentioned the Ballymore, because this is the obvious race for him. The owner sponsors the Ballymore. Uh, there you go. Which, I actually like him, but he's he's not fast enough for the Ballymore. He's he not fast needs, enough for the Ballymore. He needs to go that race. Like, how they think he's going to beat Envoy Allen after the last day, I don't know, right? Just dear clear. He's not fast enough for the Ballymore. He has to go. And But yesterday then, Martin Brassett came out and said, uh, yeah, he's he's in great form. He go. We loved how he ran the last day. He goes straight for the fest. He goes straight to the festival, and he either runs in the Ballymore or the Albert Bartlett. And that was the first time. The last day he just mentioned the Ballymore. He mentioned the Albert Bartlett. So they're obviously considering it. It's the obvious race to run in if you take the association with the with the sponsorship out of it. Mm-hmm. He's twenty. I think you still get twenty five. Still get twenty Still get twenty fives. He's way overpriced for a really open race. Um, he's a tough, hardy horse, and I really like him. Yeah. Not bad show. Good show. I'll play it. Uh, so mine is for the county hurdle of all races. Oh, we're starting to get into the handicaps. Oh, it's that time of year. Dipping and diving. Is so, this the horse that was put under our comments on our chatting video? What horse? No. What's the Dan Skelton horse that won it or whatever? My, uh, no idea. Mohead. Mohead, yeah. No, it's not him. He's interesting. Have a look at him. So I looked him up after him. What? Why did you look at me? I didn't. Okay. You swear I put him up to it. Like. <laughs> right, so he's rated 138. That'll get him into last three years' race. Is that in Ireland or England? Racing post. Okay, so that's probably in Ireland, yeah. So he'll go up to like 140 or something. So he'll get into he'll it. Get yeah, into he'll get into it, it anyway. All right. So he's former Chetland. He was beaten three quarters of length by Kel Lestan on heavy ground. Goes on any ground. He ran in the um, Royal Bond. Where he got, he ran well up to a point, up to about two, two, two hurdles out, beaten just under 20 lengths. Then he came out of Limerick over Christmas and wound his head in his chest, wouldn't how he liked. I reckon this has been a plan from now. He's been put away, protect the handicap mark, come at Chetlam. I think this fella has a nice bit of class to run well, if not win this. There's something about him that the way he travels, the way he jumps, the way he goes about his business. Think he's a cracking bet, twenty five to one each way. Where they're probably going to get seven, eight places on the day. I hope you're right because every year on the Friday we back about seven horses in the county hurdle, and none of them ever win. It's some hard race. We got Fingal Bay one day. He never went to the county. Did he? He went to Pretemps. Did he? Mm. Ah, what's the wrong race then? Um, I got bloody Wicklow Brave. Dear, one dear Paul Town and had about three winners on a Friday. Not yeah. Wicklow Brave. It's the other one. Yeah. Uh, I know what you're talking about red colours. No, purple. Yeah. RK Fire? Yes. Yeah, 20, yeah RK Fire had mm-hmm. him that day. Um, yeah, look, not a bad shout. And we'll get all the latest on him off of his jockey, Kevin Six, and I'll shout him preview. Ah, well played, yeah, Tom. Look, I, don't, I don't know what comments you're talking about about that in my head, but my God, Dan Skelton is a shrewd man to get the winner of the Kenny Hurdle. Someone put it on the He knows what to do videos. to get a winner of it. We don't. Oh, let's throw him out of that. Duck egg, duck egg, duck egg. He won it two years ago. Yeah, have a look at that um, Mohead, lads. He, he won it two years Kenny ago Hurdle. with Bridget Andrews on it. That's who won yeah. it, Mohead, two years ago. Did yeah. not win it last year as well? He won it last year, but what did Mohead do won it? It was Chitabella. Chitabella won it last year. I'm nearly sure he won it. Did he get it? He won it with a purple. Super, silver, super streak or something as well. Yeah. Yeah, purple and He's won it the last three years in a row. Oh, what's the name of it? Sublime story. Superb story. Superb story. Yeah. Three years in a row is it? Have a look have a look at that comment, lads, on the last video. I, I credit I can't remember who it was, but credit to whoever it is. I, I won't take credit off you. But I went and looked at it after you put it up and I think he's forty to one or something. It's is ridiculous. He? Yeah, he's worth backing. It, it it's got if you look at his form, he's got a plot drop What's written all over him. Mohea. So my anti post pick is Mohea, the forty to one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm a bit worried now because I listened oh, to oh shut no 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 only reason I listened I now listen to um, a race and post show called Up in the Ante because I'm afraid that we're going to get accused of putting the same horses up because I did it once um, I haven't listened to it this but week. the thing is you no, put it up before they put it up it is what it is like. what you put it up before they put it up no theirs comes out yesterday you know you remind me of Millhouse in the Simpsons <laughs> <laughs> he 
worries about everything as well. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true, like. Oh, yeah. I'm so pessimistic. This I'm life, worried about everything. This life is tough. I'm it's oh, like, geez. if Andrew's not there, what's going to happen? Oh. <laughs> oh, very good. I think I cried a bit. Right. Uh, yeah, so that is. I'm lost. I'm gone. <laughs> Somebody take. Somebody please take. I was Deal Care for the Albert Bartlett. I'm a Longhouse oh. Poet for the Albert Bartlett. And Andrew is for the Handicap. Mohai and Sylvia Pimpernel. No, Sylvia Pimpernel. Here's one bet I'm doing, right? And now I'm being I'm being positive about something. Um, I'm going to find some of the Bet Victor account and the Paisley Park and Tiger Old double is five point something to one. Okay. And I'm going to have a good go at that before the weekend, before Paisley Park runs, because I think it'll win and it'll be cut because that's always what happens. Um, and I think put a put a ton on that. Yeah, I'm going for this one now. I think I think you're right, you're knock a right few quid out of that. The two of them, are, the two of them will win. I'm hoping win a few pound tomorrow, corn, and they're gonna that few pound that they win is going back on bets for Cheltenham. Fair enough. Right, so that's our <laughs> Cheltenham and the Post video. <laughs> 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 Episode eight of the way before the last lose our balls. <laughs> so as you, you might know, we're back next week with our Dublin Racing Festival uh, video. So again, we said in the last one, if you have any questions about horses running in this or anything that happened the week before, put them in the comments on below, tag us on Twitter and we get back to you. So thanks again, guys, for watching and we will see you again next week.